Hi and welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to keep commands. How can you keep a file that contains the command you've been using throughout your work here with Stata? In previous video, we showed you how you can import data set into Stata and how you can edit um, data values, variables, and so on. So let us now start. Let's have um, uh, we have seen that in this stata there are existing uh, data you can use for your own practical session for your own exercise and the command is cc use if you didn't watch our first video please go back to the first video so you can now know why did we come up with this command and many other commands that we are not going to talk about in this video but we talked about them in the previous video cc use cancer let me use the, the cancer data set, which is already in this data. I hit enter, which is execution. I execute my command. After this, I can visualize, edit, or browse. Okay, I have data set already in my, in my uh, stata. But now I want to introduce you to the, uh, a file which is called do file that keeps your commands. And you don't need to come back writing the commands, but you can use the list of commands you've been using. Because the commands here that it displays on left side, okay, you may keep them in other format, but it's not good. In a good uh, space for you to write and keep commands is in a do file. How do we come up with that? Okay, let me like clear this data uh, data set, remove it from uh, my stata and start from zero. The do file, it is this one. Here you can see there is a new do file editor. You hit there, it is there. It's like a new site, a new uh, writing space of stata, which is there for you to, for you to write commands, for you to write, to take different notes they may be commands they may not be commands they may be comments okay so then instead of writing now the commands in this command side as i did when we started this video or in previous videos now i'm going to write the commands in this do file let's say for example i use sysus cancer and after this i hit this button which is there it is called execute do so in this this euro euro color means I'm um, like I want to execute this first row. If there are multiple rows that I want to execute at the same time, I may not a, a, uh, may not directly execute this uh, first row, but I have to select all the commands that I want to ex execute. I want to, to learn. Okay, so let me select this one, but you don't need to uh, select it when it is only one. Okay, I hit execute. It is there. And if you can see there in the stata, we have, sorry, we have, we have the data set. The data set is already there in, in, in stata. So the data set is already here. So it is already there, but I'm writing commands in do file. Okay. So after this, I can browse my data. I can browse to see my data. So I execute again. So the stata gives me the data set. I can visualize the data set by using a do file. So why do we need this do file? This do file is needed because uh, we need to keep this file. Say, for example, you are doing an assignment in a class assignment or a work assignment. But sometimes when you say I use this data, they will say, please share with us the commands you used. So they will be requesting for nothing but do file. Okay, this do file, you can like put commands, but also you can put, put comments. The comments in the do file should be started with a star sign. Let's say, for example, I want to summarize my data set. So, stata will not execute this one because it is a comment. It will keep it like that. You remember in Python or R, we start with a, uh, a, a, another sign, which is start with this one to show the command but it's better in the data you start with a star 
okay at this youtube channel you will learn more about this data you will learn more about spss python r and other different programs okay so now i use the command which is summarize since this command now i don't have to start with a star sign i go and execute this data will okay sorry will summarize will summarize you can see the output there as i showed you in the first video this side here it is where we get the output study time the observation how many people like how many people responded to this uh, in this data set we have 48 observations 48 um, respondents so the study time mean was this one the standard deviation was this one the mean the minimum and the maximum so you have like a summarized table of your whole data set if you want to summarize only one variable you can say for example uh, you can go to this uh, do file and say summarize which one for example age you summarize age you run this okay if you want to run two or more commands you can select them at the same time okay including this comment because we have seen stata cannot execute this comment it will skip it okay because it's now it, it's a comment so summarize age you go to execute you see the age we have 48 observations the mean on average uh, everyone I, I, one is is aged 55 they are old okay so we have the star, standard elevation which is 5 point it's uh, like um the, the the deviation from the mean okay so uh we have uh, an average deviation from the mean yes we have the minimum age which is 47 the one who is youngest is 47 years old the one who is old is 67 years old i mean i i think this what this makes sense why the mean is 55 you see even the minimum is 47 and the maximum is around 67 coming back to my um my uh, do file i can describe so it looks like with do file you have changed the way to write commands because you need them for future use okay next time i will run this do file without okay without even opening the setter yeah the setter will just open immediately because of this do file so if i click uh describe you see uh, no this one was not closed okay you see describe i get the description about uh, my my data set okay i get this one i have 48 observation eight variables and the size which is uh, like the stata is good for storing your data set it shows you the size so it by default it stores the data in type in byte type i will explain you more about the data types which is very very essential to know when you are working with the, this stata why do we have string why do we have byte why do we have float why do we have integers and many others i will have a very very specific video on the data types because i know most of the people they fail with the stata commands because they don't know which data type a variable has okay so you describe you do whatever everything you want to like can tabulate okay but this i will have specific videos on those commands okay you can tabulate died which is a variable called died okay you can select and you run this one so you see how many if one is for like the one who died i may have 31 person 31 person who died percent is 61.58 percent 64.58 percent and the cumulative percent is 100 and how many people did not die 17 okay i don't know maybe one is who died or zero who survived but we are not quite sure of this because this is the existing data set that we are using now this data file after you finish with your work you see you can have multiple commands on this data uh, data file so you can even have a new do file you can have a new do file aside if you want to differentiate the two do files but it's better now if you, when you finish you come and you save it okay you you save it in your specific folder i call it to file then i save it is now saved 
wherever I want like to come back now to like revise what I have done in this data, I can use my command. Very easy. Very easy. Hey, hope you got the meaning and why do we need this do file? Sometimes when you give me the data set and you share me the do file, I will know what you have been doing with this data. If I'm your lecturer of your, like uh, this is data, you may share with me the commands, then I know what you come up with. Okay, I showed you that the command, it's better you select it and you run it, but also you may run it without selecting, okay? So, but uh, for if you want to insert like a comment, it's better you start with a, a star sign. The starter will not run this uh, this command. If you want to ex uh, exit data, you can use exit command and clear, okay? Clear exit and clear. You clear and exit if you want to exit your 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 stata, okay? So you run it and so on. So that is how you can like use do file for for like keeping your your commands. So if you want like um, to share do file with other people, it's better you write your instructions in do file. You run them. Then after you save your do file. Then you come back to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay here for more videos. Hope to see you in next videos. Bye bye.